Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can lock cells with an Excel. And this can be super useful when you're diving into formulas and things like that with an Excel. And, and I'm going to explain that to you in the simplest way that I know how using this example. So today's video should be pretty sweet and simple. So let's say we have a number of candy bars and depending on that how many candy bars we have, I want to know how I can evenly divide that depending on how many people I have. So let's say to start this example there's three of us. And so we have one candy bar, and so basically that math would be one divided by three, right? And each of us would get a third of that candy bar. Now in Excel, you can drag down formulas, which is super useful. But if I don't lock this cell here, it's not going to work. So if I drag this down here, it's going to copy the formula, but then it's going to take the bottom cell from what I just used, and it's going to continue to do that. And so essentially what I would have to do is then do this, divide it by that, and I would just have to do the formula repeated over and over again. But essentially what you can do is lock this cell so that this cell doesn't change when you drag or multiply this formula. So on most keyboards, if you're a PC user, you're going to be using you're going to find the FN key and then hit F4. And that's going to lock the cell. And what essentially that does is create two dollar signs in front of the the column and the row. So if that keyboard function didn't work on your computer, you simply can just type in dollar signs um, and it'll work the same. So now when I drag down my formula here, it's going to keep that cell regardless of where the formula goes. And this applies um, vertically as well as horizontally. Um, as you can see, it's taking this divided by that, and then eventually we're just dividing ourselves by three every time, right? And that is how you lock a cell within Excel. So that is super helpful when you're creating formulas, and that is just a super basic overview of what the lock function can do on Excel. If you want to know more or learn what happens when you only create a dollar sign in front of the column or the row, please leave a comment, smash that like button, subscribe. I'd really appreciate the feedback so I know what kind of videos you're looking for in the future. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great rest of your day.